we the students of ashoka academy present before you our model prototype dual machine wind and wave this is based on the principle of making use of kinetic energy of moving water to power the turbines attached to it as you can see this machine has two flaps flap 1 and flap 2 during high tides the water enters from the above chamber this chamber here is made narrow so that the area decreases and the pressure increases which in turn moves the turbine and comes out through this flap similarly during low tide the water enters from the bottom chamber again moves the turbine in the same direction and comes out to the second flap this machine is been implemented on an underwater railing which in turn is attached to a jack leverage for its horizontal motion and the vertical motion to adjust it according to the tide level now a question arises that how can these machines be implemented as you can see in this figure these machines can be implemented between two barrages here there are multiple barrages between every two barrages multiple machines have been implemented here we have designed a same model for this two barrages can be anchored on the coastline or at high sea like the rigs on which an underwater railing can be attached on which this machine can be implemented another application of this machine is that it can be attached across a river instead of building big dams it and its ill effects these machines can be across the rivers a narrow beam can be attached across the rivers on which these machines can be implemented with hydraulic system to adjust it according to the river level another application is that these machines can be attached on the walls of the ship this will cause a drag here we have shown as an outward structure but in the figure you can see that it is inside given an aerodynamic structure now my colleague will explain you about the wind machine this in front of you is the model of prototype wind machine the basic purpose of this model is to harness electricity in the most economical way possible at one end of the wind machine are the rotating wind flaps these control and direct the wind energy through the venturi tube or the wind tunnel the opening of the venturi tube is made narrow to minimize the area and maximize the air pressure the generator begins to rotate under high air pressure and the air is let out through the wind outlet a special feature of this machine is that it has been designed in a horizontal manner the conventional wind machine as you can see in the diagram is that it is vertically structured at a height of 60 to 90 meters and the blade length of 20 to 40 meters or more but our model is more compact and hence multiple machines can be located in the same area as that of the vertical turbine giving it more power generated at a lower cost another special feature is that the vertical turbine has lesser blades as compared to the horizontal turbine this increases the rotation per minute in turn increasing the arp in increasing the energy generated thus the blades of the wind machine can also be made out of carbon uh, carbon glass or fiberglass laminate these are lightweight alloys which can be which reduce the weight and increase the stiffness also at certain places we could use titanium to give high tensile strength thank you
open hmm. and then uh, point to the turbine. Right. At one end of the wind machine are the rotating wind flaps. These control and direct wind energy through the generator which begins to rotate under high air pressure. The air is then let out through the wind out. The second part is the horizontal and vertical gauge. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>